Hello, Sean here, and I'm going to be playing another demo today, uh, Over Rogue. Um, it doesn't say that it's a demo here, but it's definitely a demo. I don't know why it's not mentioned that here. Uh, before we do anything, I should probably turn some sounds down just to be sure. Well, I'm assuming this can't be changed because it's a demo, hopefully. <laughs> Tech speed. Yeah, I'll have instant. Uh, anyway, um, the reason I decided to choose this game today was... Uh, uh, I was looking through demos and I was reading like the descriptions and stuff. and It, it kind of um, sounded like... A, it was like a card RPG or something, I thought. That sounded like... And that was interesting because I was playing a few card RPGs like Slay the Spiral and stuff so yeah I I'm not sure how it's exactly like but I guess we'll see um before I continue I should probably mention what day it is it's currently the 18th of March and it's 8 27 p.m. it's the afternoon oh sorry or night time if you prefer um so uh Oh yeah, I was looking at my uh, Resident Evil 4 thing when it was going to be downloaded and it will be about five days from now, so we're getting there. <laughs> so I'm sorry that it's taking a while. Well, it's not even out yet. I have to wait till it, that day when it's out. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so I uh, will jump into this, but before I do, as I said in my other demos, um, if I end up liking this game, I will definitely get it. The question is, will you guys want to see me do a gameplay of it, or just play it in my spare time? Feel free to put that in the comments below. Uh, with that being said, how about we just jump on in? And, yeah. Uh, the Underworld. A region of magic where demons of many different forms live. Interesting. Uh, they spend their days as they wish, faithful to their desires. Did I read that right? Their existence... There exists a pit hole falling through which matters... Okay, I'm not reading it fast enough, sorry about that. Uh, they're called matter gifts. So I'm gonna probably skim through it in my mind, so if you want to read it, you can pause it. Okay, past 300 years. So, uh, yeah, it's going by a bit quick for me, so I have to try and read it fast, and I can't read, like, fast. Yeah, 300 and something. Damn. Okay, so, Angry Doll. This is what you call an apology. Even, even your mangler little brain should understand now. A small horned vampire. Uh, how did things get like this? I am not sure. <laughs> Several hours earlier. Labyrinth Screen Peak. Okay, here we are. Black haired familiar. So, this is a labyrinth. It's one of the areas my father prepared for the Overlord section battle. This is Scream Peak. The original lands have been altered and now there's this labyrinth made of a section of the selection battle. I'm bad at reading, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's said that there's even a labyrinth in which the world of humans has been recreated. Uh, the world of humans. I heard that it was based on gifts that were like call out cutouts of landscapes. I see. If they referred to the real thing when making it, I must be it must be pretty accurate then. Something some I'm very bad at pronouncing what those are. <laughs> the world of humans has many different cultures. Maybe there's a culture of something in that labyrinth. Monty. 
Oh, is that names? So this guy's Sal and Monty. Uh, I'm sure there will be your father, Sagon, the Overlord, thinks so much of you, Sal. Anyway, how about we go on? I'll give you all the help I can about. There is, there it is, a labyrinth. Okay, so there's some more people here. I'm going to be first to get a Sagon crystal. As if the section battle isn't so easy that someone like you could just get one just like that. Go on quickly, you guys are just the minor performances before the main act. Me. <laughs> what did you say? Well, they're fighting. And they're all rushing. You're in the way, move. Oh. Rude. <laughs> oh. What the hell happened? Did we die? So. Ah, that was a shock. So, ah, I'm so glad. As long as we're not at the end of our lives, our bodies grow back immediately. There's no need to panic. I know, but it's still not good for my heart. <laughs> this isn't a place where I can explain things calmly. Let's move somewhere else. Okay. Labyrinth beginning is cave. Here, we should be able to go on safely. But before that, this is your first labyrinth, beginner's cave. Here you can learn the basics of how to complete a labyrinth. However, there are some things you need to know in advance to help you understand what goes on. To clear your anxiety, I've prepared two tutorial courses for you. Okay. Thanks. What have you prepared? Let me tell you, the morning to night support course and the simple tutorial course. Which one you want to try? Let me think. Uh, I don't know. That one sounds cool, but it sounds like this is like a... Are they like both supposed to be tutorials? Can I do both of them eventually? I feel like I should do the simple tutorial course by the looks of it, so let's do that one first. I understand. Okay, let's go over the fundamentals. Yeah, please do that. It's two statues. The two statues, they are called a gate. Go between them and the conquest will begin. Come on then, let's go. So, did I read that right or did I just imagine it said go? <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> uh, oh! Beginner's Cave. Okay, before we move on to attempting this labyrinth, let me give you some basic information. First, what you do in labyrinths, put simply, you go further and further in, defeat the boss and complete the labyrinth. Got it. And what happens when you clear a labyrinth? You become able to try a new labyrinth. There are sometimes other conditions, but I'll explain those later. Also, you can Get bright stones and demon coins as rewards. Cool. They're difficult, different from the normal currency we use. What can they be used for? Bright stones can be used in secret rooms. You can use functions that support you when you're trying to complete a labyrinth. Demon coins are coins needed to draw Sagon cashiers. Gatchiers. You can also use bright stones to draw Gatchen, Sajin Gatchens. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. As you draw something, new cards and treasure will be unlocked, but you'll, you've only just announced you're taking part in the Overlord Sachin battle. It'll take some time before you can use Sach Sajin somethings. I don't know. When that time comes, I'll explain more. Got it. There are some squares here. Do I just go along them? That's right, let's move to the first square. Ah, okay, so this is interesting. So I just move. Or I battle. I guess I'm battling. Gosh! Ah! An enemy. This is a battle square. 
when enemy monsters made for the session battle appear. What happens if I get defeated? There's nothing to worry about. Beginner's Cave is a place to learn the ropes. Even if your HP drops to zero, there's a revival effect. I see, so I can try without worrying. Correct, so concentrate, and let's go. Okay, so this is definitely... Okay, so we get cards. Uh, and I think the three are supposed to be like mana and stuff. Uh, one, two. So in battles, you can you fight using cards in the action order. So that's the action order in one. At the top of the screen, the character whose icon is at the right takes a turn and draws five cards from the draw pile. Okay, cool. Okay, so we go first, and we have five cards here. So all we do is just use them. Okay, so flicked eight, three. I feel like, yeah, I feel like these will do more damage. Use those, and I'm guessing the one above them is the mana or whatever it's called in this game. Okay. Uh, how would I end my turn? Oh, okay. And we got attacked. Uh, inflict 5 damage. Power up. Applies a fortitude to Nuzo. First cut inflicts 5. So that doesn't even cost anything. Power up? I'm debating with what I should use. <laughs> so what did power up do exactly? Oh, it, it increased the attacks and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, this will only do 8 damage. Oh, it's our turn again. Um, and I guess I can finish it with that. There we go, victory! After a battle, you can choose one card as an reward. The card you choose is added to the draw pile at the top right of the screen, 1. On strong enemy battle scores, you can also gain treasure. If there is no reward you want, use the next at the bottom... Yeah, I can't see that properly. Uh, so, I'll read this first. So, bottom screen, skip, receiving an award, you will gain 20 gold in place of an award. Okay, cool. Uh, <clears throat> so basically to end, I just press triangle, I believe. Anyway, so these are what I can get, one of these. Ooh, they all cost good mana though. A lot of mana, and I only have like three. I'm not even sure if that's what it's called in this game. Uh, we'll get wide spear for now. Good job, you got an award too. If you're victorious in battle, you gain XP, experience, value, and gold as well as cards. When your XP gets to a certain amount, your level goes up, as does your max HP. Also, you can gain special points called SP. Okay, so it has a leveling up system. Um, I want to try something, but I don't want to accidentally skip this. Uh, we'll continue reading it first. So, Also, you can gain uh, special points called SP. SP. SP are points needed to gain benefits on altar squares. I'll explain later along with how to use gold. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I leveled up. Yes. Uh, can I pause for a sec? Cool. What I want is, is there a way to like change the screen and stuff? Because, um, <clears throat> like, I don't know, I can't see everything at the corner properly. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, so the next... So we just press X to move along, I guess. So the next thing is an altar. 
This is an altar, by using SP you can gain benefits and increase your abilities. Benefits, I wonder what sort of things they are. Ah, so these are my things. Ah, oh, okay, but I only have one SP. Well, we'll get two max HP for now. Did you get a good benefit? You sometimes land on battle squares with strong enemies, so it's important to increase your abilities at altars. Okay, let's go to the next square. Cool. Treasure chest. This is a treasure chest square. Choose one of the treasure items shown to get in. Treasure items are special. Just by being owned, they apply various effects. They're all made from gifts, so you might come across something you're familiar with. Okay, choose the treasure you want. Okay, so these are the treasures I can get. Uh, strong ring, attack card power, all allies, SPD. At the start of battle, damage, five damage against... That sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> uh, treasure chests are good, aren't they? The cards and treasure that appear in labyrinths change randomly each time you enter the uh, labyrinth. You may not gain the same things each time. Fight battles and open treasure chests. Choose the cards and fight treasure you think are the best at that time and build a strong deck that's the key to completing a labyrinth. Got it. Um, now that I think about it, I haven't... When I was in the last battle, I don't remember getting like defenses to like block and stuff. So, do I just have to take hits on this one that... I kind of want to check deck to see if I have anything that helps with like that, but we'll see. <laughs> hmm, it's going to be tough until I get used to it, but if I can use the cards and treasure in the next labyrinth, it should be okay, I guess. Unfortunately, you can't do that. Oh. When you leave a labyrinth, the cards, treasure, and gold you gained in the labyrinth return to the dungeon and you don't keep them. That sucks. So in labyrinths, you always begin from the same start line and gain cards and treasures. Treasure by dealing with the situations which are different each time to complete the labyrinth. Okay, so strong techniques are no good then. No good then. To become the overlord, you need the judgement to deal with the complex changing situations and to always take the best course labyrinths are a way to see if you have that or not okay i'm curious do we keep our level if we finish the labyrinth or leave or do we start from level one but you're sure to be able to complete all the labyrinths so you'll get the sagon crystals in no time too, no doubt about it. And then you'll be the one who becomes the 445th Lord, Overlord. You over underestimate me too much. And anyway, I said before I did, didn't I, I'm not going to become the Overlord, my aim is to save your life. Come on, let's go on. Okay, I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> You're so stubborn. So, is this guy's life is in trouble or something? But I'll be sure to make you the overlord. Okay, so the next thing is event. I want to stop recording for a sec, but I also want to see if there's a way to check cards. Okay, that's that. No. Can I check deck some? Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't see any, like, defensive things. Huh. So I guess we just have to take hits and stuff. Okay, one sec. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Um... Next room. This is an event square, where something will happen... There are various events, and depending on the choices you make, you can gain or lose cards in gold. Oh. Oh, there are two ropes dangling from the ceiling. There's a sign by them that says the red rope brings riches, the blue rope, great riches. 
pluck up your courage here and pull one of those ropes. I don't know. Blue is my favourite colour, so I'm just going to go with blue for this time. Uh, something fell from above. Oh, gold. 100 gold. Nice. That was lucky. Let's take it. On event squares, just like now, there are choices, and depending on the choice you make, various events may be triggered. At first, you don't know what might happen, so try to predict the result based on what's happened so far and make what you think is the best choice. Okay. Even if you make a disadvantageous choice, there's a good outcome to, over to everything in the end. On event squares, you may encounter an event you've experienced before, but the result of the choice you've made before will be shown. Uh, by the way, even outside these events where you make a choice, enemies, treasure chests, and card shops may appear suddenly. Anyway, this is the halfway point. Let's keep going. Okay, so we're halfway. Next is a card shop. The time has come to use some of the gold you've gained. This is a card shop square. You can buy cards with the gold you've built up. Also, there's a collection box where you can disposit, dispose of cards you don't need. Disposing of unnecessary cards in the collection boxes is important. Okay, good to know. So these are the cards. Oh, but there's only. So I can only dispose of two cards? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any, um. Defense stuff, so that kind of sucks. Treasure. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, I feel like I should buy something or get rid of a card. Uh, how much? Hmm. Well, this doesn't cost much mana, and it costs a hundred gold. So I'm thinking this. Unless I can get more mana or whatever it's called, I feel like this is what I need. That's basically how things are. By the way, the fee for using a collection box goes up each time you use one. Oh! The fee isn't reset until you leave the labyrinth, so just be careful of that. Anyway, let's go on to the next square. Okay, the next square is Upgrader. We've arrived at the Upgrader Square. Here you can upgrade one of your cards to increase its effect. Give it a try now. Hmm, which card should I choose? Okay, uh... Ah, there, so it will tell us what it does. <clears throat> so this will apply to... Cost 1. Uh... Interesting. I'm looking at cost to see if it changes, but it doesn't look like it does. I don't know what I need. Maybe I should upgrade one of these ones. Uh, four damage twice it would... Uh, or this. And... Um, oh, or maybe one of these ones. Nah, I'm thinking power up on this one. <laughs> so we can only upgrade one card. Did you upgrade that card well? Some cards can be upgraded by one level and some by two levels. Power up cards can generally be upgraded by two levels. Anyway, let's go to the next square. Uh, the next square is Rest Area. This is the rest area. You can rest your tired body and restore your HP. If you don't need to take a break, you can train too. By training, you gain XP. Uh, hmm, what should I do? Train to gain 50 XP or restore my health. I'm thinking I should restore my health here. Hmm, so my health doesn't replenish after so on. Normally if you've completely defeated while trying to complete a labyrinth, you fail and you are returned to your base. You can gain demon coins and blight stones as an award calculated from how much you've done that 
far, but you gain greater rewards if you complete the labyrinth. Uh, labyrinth compl- uh, I'm reading very wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, uh, be sure to check the situations carefully, pay attention to your remaining HP, and aim to complete the labyrinth. Okay, good to know. Ah, the next square looks like the final one. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording for one sec, so it's gonna be a boss square. Uh, one sec. Okay, so... Uh... I haven't done my hair yet and washed... Uh, so, yeah, um, said I was gonna do it at 9 and it's almost 9 over here, so we're gonna try and make this the last thing for now. And then I'm going to probably go and do that. Okay, so finally we're at the deepest part. Defeat the boss enemy here and you will have completed the labyrinth. If you complete the labyrinth you can get lots of demon coins and bright stones. When you get permission and use gatch, sage and gatches later on, you can unlock so many new cards and... Ooh, sorry. Treasure 2. By the way, you mentioned unlocking back at the start. If you draw a something something and unlock cards and treasure, what does that actually mean? Well, before I talked about how the cards and treasure that appear in the labyrinth are randomized each time. Sorry about that, I wasn't sure if I was still recording or not. Uh, okay, so... However, there are some cards and treasure that don't appear in the labyrinth until they're unlocked. These include powerful cards and rare treasure. By unlocking new cards and treasure, you can make it easier to complete the labyrinths. Ah, that makes sense. It sounds like unlocking things increases the ways to fight. I guess it's best to unlock as much as possible. So, participants attempt labyrinths, game of boards, draw something, some things, and unlock new cards and treasure. Then they attempt the labyrinth again and gain rewards. It's necessary to repeat this to unlock strong cards and treasure, and to become able to fight even in more difficult labyrinths. Exactly right. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, but some treasure is unlocked by completing quests or attainments. Later, you'll need to visit the quest center, so I'll explain about all that at that time. Okay. Okay, try to defeat the boss and complete the labyrinth. Here we go. Yeah, but it looks like there's someone there already. Oh, that's right. There's someone here before us. Such a cute appearance. Could she be a doll? Unusual. When the battle is over, the boss will cover. Let's wait here for a while. Ah, oh, so there's someone else here. Graceful doll. Huh, she's coming over here. You're not going to fight? I don't think I could be victorious. If you don't mind, please let me watch your fighting. I'm not so confident myself. But yeah, okay, I'll try first. I'm rooting for you. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna try. He goes nothing. Oh! They have a lot of HP. Okay, um... I feel like I should get rid of that one first. Can I get rid of that one first? Or should I try to defeat the... Easy cat. I'm gonna try and defeat that one. Also, I just noticed it has things above their heads, so... Is it telling me what their actions are gonna be, or...? that, uh, two threes, and two threes. We'll have to end here. Oh, so they're blocking. Info about advanced statuses, etc. Infected on enemies and allies are shown as icons underneath the character's HP. If you want to see more detailed information, use the magnifying glass icon at the top right of the screen, option 1. In a normal labyrinth, you can also retire from here. Strength buff effects, force, right, etc. applied to enemies and allies maintain their value even as turns pass, but for advanced 
depop effects, the value decreases by one each turn. Okay, that's interesting. So, will this... I don't know if that's going to... change. Uh, oh. Okay, let's try that. Oh, I can attack both of them with it. <clears throat> okay, um... I can't do anything else, so... Uh... Take that. Okay, it's down. So now we just have this thing. Light Slash. And two Double Spears. Okay, I think we can pull this off then. Oh, so I can keep getting stronger, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to take that. Oh. Oh, I have another turn, that's cool. I'll take this. And this. And I can finish it. Here we go. Okay, I was I was thought I was screwed. <laughs> Victory! Labyrinth clear. We did it. Uh okay, it's really almost nine. Uh Okay, I'm gonna stop here for now, but I'll try to get back as soon as I'm done with everything. Um I might have to wait for a bit because I have to have like a shower and stuff like that, so my hair's gonna be wet. But I'll try to dry it properly if I can so I can continue because I want to try and finish this demo tonight <laughs> hopefully so yeah I'll be right back okay I'm back everyone sorry that I took so long it's currently 10 well actually it won't be long for you guys <laughs> anyway anyway it's 10 4 p.m. over here right now so we're going to continue on let's see if we can finish this demo today so what's all this oh well these all the things I had on me I'm guessing those were all the things I had on me. Uh, okay, cool. Well done. What I'd expect from you, Cell. A vampire called Cell. He can't be the son of Sagon the Overlord, can he? This is a chance I might never get again. That was some amazing fighting. I was impressed I... So impressed I had tears in my eyes. Really? Thank you. Please don't be so formal. My name's Elisa. I'm a doll. Oh, you're a doll, are you? I've heard rumours about dolls, but you really are so cute. That... just like a human. Please don't flatter me like that, and in any case, my hair grows so fast that I can't choose my style. Being a doll is not all good. More importantly, Sal, tell me about yourself. That costume must have been a made from a gift, yeah? I've never seen anything like it before. It's a version of a costume from something culture. It's strange, isn't it? No, not at all. It's true that something culture isn't so popular, but it, only the foolish would jack someone's preferences for that reason. And actually, I think it suits you really well. I'm happy you said that. Thanks, Eliza? I'm forgetting I'm not pronouncing names right. It's not to have made you happy. So, let's chat some more. I like you so much I can't help myself. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, okay, we can chat, but aren't you a little close? Oh, you got shy, do you? You get shy, do you? Why, well, well, it seems I'm in the way here. Monty, don't leave me on my own here. <laughs> oh. A pendant. Wow. Hmm? So, what was that just now? I don't know, what happened to me? Back. Eliza? Give it back, I said. Oh, shit. Oh. Sal? My neck, I'm being strangled. You're not being strangled, I'm strangling you. <laughs> Please stop that, Eliza. Be quiet. Of course. I'll only say this one more time. Give me back my treasure. I don't understand. Uh, 
Sorry, you're not going to give it back, are you? Unfortunate in that case. Take that, this doesn't look good. Sell! Oh, the pendant didn't appear. Maybe I didn't use enough force. Uh, this is a labyrinth, right? If you die in one, you're supposed to return to your base. The death after beating the boss is counted as an accident and doesn't lead to forced exposure. But it's still not good for my heart. <laughs> you're pretty brave chatting like that and ignoring me. Please wait, any more violence towards Sal and get out of my way. I can't turn down a request from a female. <laughs> really? Why are you so weak towards females? <laughs> so next I'm going to smash you into smaller pieces. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I do know that I didn't intend to steal that girl's treasure. But she's getting this angry about it. It must be something really precious to her. Eliza. Eliza. I don't know. If I'm pronouncing the name wrong, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it seems like I stole your treasure. Sincerely. Huh? You're not sincere enough. Do it again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah, an apology. Is this how you do an apology? Oh. And this was at the start, wasn't it? Not quite enough like this. Ah! That sound from Sol's head didn't sound good. This is what you call an apology. Even your meager little brain should understand now. Okay, I get it. This is where we were at the very beginning. Please, that's enough. Forgive him. Is there something you want to complain about? No, nothing at all. I don't believe you. And? I'm really sorry? Hmm, I guess that'll do. So next you'll need to pay compensation. That pendant was so precious to me, you'll be paying for the rest of your life. Wait, what? We don't know yet what happened to that pendant of yours, do we? First, let's ask my father. He's sure to know something. That's true enough, he's the king of the underworld, after all. There aren't many things he can't deal with. Just one thing, Sal, during the selection bell, nobody can go into the castle until they have gained the right to challenge the overlord. Ah, I'd forgotten. So let's go ask my mother in the castle town. She knows a lot of things. She's sure to be able to help. I guess I don't have any choice. I'll go along with that plan of yours. Thanks. Okay, now I got Eliza with me. A new chapter has been unlocked. Wait, does that mean that's the end of this, or do we still continue? The dash button. Uh, press the square button 1 to increase movement speed. Press it again to return to normal speed 2. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so I'm supposed to go... Okay, so the demo is still going. I thought it was going to end for a sec. Uh, we were supposed to go here. My mother runs a card shop. It's just here. <clears throat> uh, I'm back, mother. Oh, so you're my mother. Ah, Cell, so, and with a friend too. Wonders will never cease. No, she's not a friend. I met her in the labyrinth, but there was a slight problem. We came to see if you could help, Mother. Hmm. Nice to meet you. My name is Liz. I'm Flores. How about you tell me what about... Tell me what happened? <laughs> well, then I guess we're explaining what happened. Anyway, that's what happened. Is there anything you can do to get Liz's pendant back? Hmm. Take that. Huh? Sal! What the hell? Mother, what did you do that for all of a sudden? Sorry, sorry. I thought if you died, we'd find the treasure. I told you that Eliza had already tried that. I thought she might not have used enough power. Anyway. I know how... I know now how the pendant disappeared. Next, how about you tell me more about it? Elias? It was a pendant I got from someone when I was just a little girl. Maybe it has a special power. It's protected me so many times in difficult situations. An item with protective power, huh? Who gave you the pendant? Um. 
you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I know that it's a very precious item to you. Mother, is there anything you can you know from just now? I'm reading very wrong, so... If she could take it into the labyrinth, it means at least that it's not connected to the Overlord section battle. Do you have anything that might be connected to cheating? You're repelled at the entrance gate and you can't go in. I've never heard of a device that makes items disappear. There have been... There have never been reports of anything like that happening. And... I looked inside your body cell, but there's no trace of uh, any strange items being mixed in. Your body is as healthy and as lanky as ever. Lanky? You didn't have to go that far. So, is the only option to ask the Overlord then? That's right, how unfortunate. However, unfortunately, even I can't see him now unless there's something that's really urgent. There may be a defect in the labyrinth, so I'll report this, but I shouldn't expect a favourable result if I were you. I understand. Elias? I'm sorry I couldn't help. If there's anything I can do, tell me. Anything? Uh, yeah. I got a promise from you. Okay, so, become the overlord and make me your wife. <laughs> Whoa, really? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what did you just say? The overlord has the whole of the underworld in his hands. Becoming his wife would mean that I had the same rights without any effort. It's unfortunate that I lost my treasure, but if I can receive that sort of compensation, I won't complain. <laughs> All of that just for one pendant? It seems a bit out of proportion. You did say you'd do anything, didn't you? Are you going to go back on what you said yourself <laughs> in just a matter of seconds? She has to get her own way, doesn't she? <laughs> Formless, please do something to help. Sal. <laughs> Sal has been timid about the section battle. It'll be good opportunity for him. Yes, that's right. It's just as you say, Fon... I don't even know how to pronounce her name either. Monty, and even you, Mother? Three against one, you lose. Do your best for my sake. I don't believe this. But the Overlord Statue Bell is the biggest event in the Unworld. It will be a difficult journey for you on your own. Therefore, I'll lend a hand, just a bit. Just as I'd expect from a future wife, so dependable. Really? <laughs> huh. Well, I guess we just got into a situation that... I don't know. Okay, Morty. Do your dirty and support us in the section battle. Of course. First, please come this way. This is the quest center. Mala... This familiar is here to help the participants in the section battle. Welcome to the quest center. Here we tell participants in the section battle about selection battle about quests. Quests. At the quest center you can complete set labyrinths and take on requests from citizens. Each time you complete a quest, treasure is unlocked and you can get various rewards including demon coins. Cool. You should complete as many quests as you can and make use of the skills you've got. I've been waiting for you to visit Cell. So it's possible to get treasure other than from Cell Gatches? That's right, and other than from quests, you can also get treasure from alternaments. However, it's pretty difficult to get permission to draw Sajin Gatches. I see. Anyway, I have demon coins, so I'd like to try it, give it a try, however... <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh. What is it? Is there a problem? I've been taking part in the section selection battle for a long time now, but I still can't draw Sagan Getches. Hmm, maybe your ap application wasn't complete. It's unusual for you to make a mistake like that, though. No, it wasn't me. Monty applied for me to take part, 
before I'd even realized anything. Isn't that right, Monty? <laughs> Beat? <laughs> that, that's right, I'm sorry to have caused so much trouble. I see, in that case, I'll check what's wrong with the application and correct it for you. I'll make sure it's done without any delay. You guys do what you can for the time being. When it's ready, a familiar will, from here will contact Monty. Thanks, mother. This is all I can show you of the castle town. What would you like to do next? I'd like to go to the base. I've visited before, but I've never been shown around properly. Understood. We'll do that. Come on, let's go. I just remembered I have something to do. Sorry, but just the two of you go to the... Not something more important than me, surely. <laughs> Holy shit. I guess not. <laughs> Goodbye for now, mother-in-law. Come and visit again anytime, really? <laughs> She's just okay with this? <laughs> hmm. Is this the base? This place isn't really like a base, is it? I thought that when I visited a while back. To go into a labyrinth, you need to set a base. I just set my own house as a base, that's all. <laughs> I normally live in a castle, so... Here, there are only the bare necessities. Oh. To get the right to challenge the Overlord, the ultimate aim of the Overlord's selection battle, you need to collect six Sagon crystals. To do that, it's imperative to develop a base like this. You won't even get close to the other participants. But if you play an active part, so Finally, people will notice you and slowly supporters will start to gather here at your base. Uh, but I'm not gonna become the Overlord. You're still going on about that, are you? You're not gonna become the Overlord? You're gonna break the promise you made to me? <laughs> well, that's... Hey, hey, you people. Bulbous is about to pass by. Bow down and welcome him. Who? What? The man who stands before you is Bolas, the leading candidate to be the next overlord, down to your knees. You're Sagon's son, are you? Hmm, I guess I don't have to be wary about you. A shabby base, just one supporter, I can't see anything that links you to that famous name. Looking at you, you're not going to get many Sagan crystals either, son of the Overlord. Tell me the number of crystals you have. Uh, not even one, right? The rumor about the son of the Overlord being a lying carrot is true, then. True, it seems. Huh? <laughs> Did you hear? He's not even got even one crystal yet. Bobus is just about to get his second crystal. Have you been napping until now? What a group of weaklings, ga ha ha. You're so rude, take back that abuse right now. Shut up. Leave someone aside. I'm not gonna let you call my call me a weakling and just overthrow it. Overlook it. Huh, so one of them has some spirit. Listen to me, young lady. It's obvious there's no future sticking with that guy. Come over to me. You'll be welcome. No thanks. I decide my own path. In that case, I'll just crush you all. Before I become the Overlord, at least try to cling to my feet. Uh, what's wrong with that one? I don't believe you. How about saying something back? Isn't it humility, humil humiliating to be talked about like that? I'm not saying I don't feel anything, but what Bobba said is true. He called you a lying coward, didn't he? Leave the coward bit to one side. I can't imagine you choosing to tell lies. What did he mean by all that? Hmm... It happened back when I was a child. I was playing near a Goshen pit when I 
figure cloaked in light appeared from when a figure cloaked in light appeared from the pit. I couldn't see the figure's face well, but it didn't have any horns, so I thought it was a human. That when that human saw me, it slashed out at me with its sword and then returned into the pit. My body returned to normal after a while, but my horns had become really small and my body had become so, so weak. So you're saying you were weakened? Horns are symbols of strength. It makes sense that your horns would shrink as you became weak, but I've never heard of anything like that before. It's not just that, maybe because of the wound from that human since that, no matter how Sal has trained, he's never been able to get his strength back. Uh, if only I'd been by his side at that time. None of that was your fault, Monty. It was all a result of my decisions. And anyway, if you familiars die, that's it. I'm so glad that you weren't the one targeted. Sal. Uh, Eli's. That's why I'm not going to try to become over become the Overlord. A hundred years after that incident, I finally started to get my strength back. But there's such a difference between me and the others that it's not going to be easy to make up. So in this world where strength is more important than anything, I'm too weak to aim to become the Overlord. Hmm. She's not happy, is she? <laughs> uh. Is that all? If you have something to give me to say thanks for listening to all that, then I'll be pleased to accept it. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Did you believe what I just said? Yeah. Is there some problem with that? It's 4,000 years since Gosh and Pitt appeared. Every, even children know that in all that time, live humans have never once appeared. But even so, so what, you said you saw a human? Until now, only Monty has ever believed this story. Even my parents thought I'd seen a vision or made a mistake. So thanks for believing me, I'm really happy. Just because something has never happened before, I don't like it being rejected or labelled as a lie, that's all. Sob sob. Such a wonderful person has put her name forward to be your wife. I can't see for my tears of emotion, Elias. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. Don't come near me. Sprinkling that strange liquid around like that. Delete. Anyway, let's head to the labyrinth. What? You understand why I'm not going to try to become the overlord, right? Uh, do I need to press it again? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I didn't read that last bit, did I? Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. I had to read that, I just went to my last clip and reread it, so I, I know what it says, good. Uh, if you guys wanna know what it said, uh, you can like pause and read it. Anyway, yeah, but, con -pash yeah, I don't even know if that's what it is. Uh, it seems that the complaints have died away. Wake up, Morty. Show us the labyrinth right away. About that, there's something I forgot to say. Actually, at Scream Peak, which is where I'm to take you to first, there's a check of supporter numbers. Without at least two, you can't go in. Two, so he has enough then. No, I'm a familiar, so I don't count. There are general new slabs with no checks, but you'll have to look for those yourselves. What do you want to do? In that case, we don't have any choice. We'll just have to give up, and we'll just have... We'll just need one more supporter, right? So it'll be faster just to get someone to join us. We'll talk inside the house about how to get another supporter. Understood. Well, shit. It's like we really don't have a say in this. It's not much to look at inside either. 
I thought the bare minimum of the furniture would be enough. I never thought I'd be inviting friends. <laughs> Not a friend, your wife. <laughs> and do you actually have any friends? Uh, yeah, there should at least be something to drink. I'll go get it right now. Wait, did I mess something? Did I accidentally skip twice? No friends. Oh, okay. Tomato juice from something, something juice from something, or there's something, to potato something juice from rabbits. Which do you want? What's with all the something juice? Ah, it's what vampires like, isn't it? Anything is fine as long as it's not something juice. Okay, so if you want tea, I'll make it. It's a job for of the husband to take care of the wife. He mustn't get in the way. <laughs> really? More than that, where are the chairs? Mm, if they're not here, they aren't. There aren't any. <laughs> I guess I'll. I've no choice then. Let me use you as a chair, Monty. <laughs> Another joke? You'll crush me. <laughs> are you saying I'm heavy? <laughs> No, not that. I meant in terms of size. <laughs> I'm sure the teacups were here. Oh. Found someone. Huh? So? What? The mattress is speaking. Uh. It's not a mattress. This is a costume from something. Ah! Mm mm. What's happening, huh? Filthy. When you already have me. <laughs> You're misunderstanding. <laughs> it was a joke. I trust you'll be faithful. Who is this, Sal? She was asleep on the shelf. I'm pretty sure I don't know her. <laughs> I guess pretty much asleep. Mumble. I guess we're just gonna have to ask her. Hey, you, wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning. Uh, who are you? We should be asking you that. Oh, really? I'm Naba. Naba, I'm Sal. He's Morty, a familiar, and... And I'm Eliza, Sal's future wife. Eliza... I'm, I feel like I'm pronouncing her name wrong, definitely. Eliza? I don't know. What is it? Nothing. <laughs> Why are you here, Naba? I was looking for a base to use for the selection battle. And there was this house. I got sleepy, so I was taking a nap. I see, but this is Cell's base. You can't use it, Naba. Oh, really? In that case... Jingle? <laughs> Maybe I can buy it with this? <laughs> this... is surely can't... be all... Can't all be gold coins, can it? <laughs> Incredible, you're really rich, aren't you? Napa. <clears throat> I use it straight away, though. I love collecting money and then using it. <laughs> Please give me your house for this, Sal. Uh, it's true that you could probably buy it with all that. But I'm so, no, as Monty said, this is our base, so I can't sell it. Okay, I get it. So I'll go look for another house. See <laughs> you around. I'll see you again. Wait. No, but are you going to take part in the Overlord's selection battle? If you are, please cooperate with us. We need one more person before we can attempt the labyrinth. Hey, don't decide things. Yeah, okay. Really? It'll be a good to exercise after a nap. Hmm, not so serious or just good grace. <laughs> If you're okay with that, then that it's good to have you helping. Okay, so we got another supporter. We got two now. Oh, finally! What happened? Just now I got word that permission to draw Sanjay Gutches had been issued to mark the increase in supporters. How about we go try? The cards and treasure unlocked by some of them appear in treasure chests in labyrinths, right? That's right. 
Personally, I'd like to get lots of treasure. Some of the gifts the treasure is based on can't be bought cheaply, and it's good to good for study because it has an explanation. My father said that someone called something takes care of all the explanation of treasure. Personally, I sort of wonder if that guy puts too much emphasis on his own opinions. <laughs> hmm. I see. To apologize for the application being delayed, we can try once for free. Let's go draw a Sajin Gacha once right now. We can do that from shop Sajin Gips. Okay. Uh, shop. So we're going to go to shop. And gifts. Cool. Ah, oh, so we can only do it once. Okay, let's start. Everything is here. A theme. Oh, okay. Sorry that the permission took so long. Okay, so we can draw. Wait, what's draw? Pink or green? Okay, it's pink. Or purple. I don't know. So what do we get? We just got one card. Is that it? Inflicts 12 damage, power... Okay. You are... Well, we got something. You unlocked a pretty good card. If you can draw this card in the labyrinth, it'll give you a good advantage. Anyway, you can draw such and gets now, so let me explain about the stickers you can... get from them. Stickers are everlasting items with a range of effects. When you gain one, your HP in the labyrinth might go up, or you might gain more gold. Popular among participants are the stickers that upgrade by one level the cards that appears as rewards in labyrinths and so on. That's excellent. If we can upgrade cards without using an upgrader, we'll, that'll give us an advantage in labyrinths. Exactly, when you have a sticker, its effect lasts forever, so gathering stickers is important for completing labyrinths. Interesting. So anyway, our actions are basically decided now. First, complete... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Ow, when I'm reading so long, I keep getting stuff stuck in my throat for some reason. I'm talking, I don't know. Uh, first, complete a labyrinth and gain an award. Then draw a satch and get you to unlock cards, treasure, and stickers, and then head for the next labyrinth gaining Sagan crystals. If we keep on repeating this process, we'll find the throne of the Overlord waiting for us. If we get stuck because the enemies are too strong, we can use demon coins and bright stones at the shop for strengthening. Yay! It sounds fun. Okay. Even if, if we use the rewards, we'll get in the labyrinths well. Maybe even I can get strong. Yes, that's the spirit, so the day when you become the overlord cell is coming closer. Uh, no! That's not what I meant! So let's set off for screen pick right away, Monty. Of course! I'll add screen perk as a destination map. You can go there whenever. You can now travel, go to the Labyrinth Screen Park, walk there from base menu and... Okay. Come on, let's go. Can we do this? Sigh. A new chapter has been unlocked. I'm so worried that we're going to... Demo is going to end soon. It's like Labyrinth and... Okay. Okay, so I think we can still do this. Because I haven't played for long, so I don't know, I'm sort of liking it now, but I want to play for a bit longer to have a better understanding of it. Uh, shops? Today's Willie really at, what's this? You can play up to three times a day. The play count is reset when the data changes. Okay. Uh, do I have anything for this? Oh, I just spin it for free? I don't know. Uh, mermaid prize. I got demon coins. Yay! Okay, let's spin it two more times. 
since we can. Uh, come on. So slow. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Griffin Prize. Yay! Okay, one more. Spin! I have the heater on and it's hot in here now, so I'm going to turn the heater off. Ah! What are we getting? Oh, I thought we were going to get Grimmer Prize for a sec. Goblin Prize! Demon Coins. Okay. Cool. Mm. And we're finished. Wait until tomorrow, like, an actual day? Is that how it works if we get this? A room where you can use powerful functions to support conquests. The secret room is unavailable in the demo version. Okay, so there's proof that this is the demo right here. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Can we use this one more time? Might as well. How much things do we have? Uh, might as well use this ten times. See if we can get anything good. There we go. Uh, grave robbing. Pickpocket. Auto shot. Sucks one card from discard pile. Huh. Okay, well we got these. Oh no, I was hoping to find something with defense. Flix 20. Cool. Lo oh, but you lose gold. Okay. I thought it was too good to be true. Like, cost zero and so on. Stickers. Did we get stickers? Oh, we got stickers. Upgrade. Next slice. Strengthened by one stage from initial. Okay, so those are cool. You can't draw... You don't have enough demon coins. Okay. Cool. Um... So, I guess we're going to head to the Labyrinth now, uh, have I been playing this for two hours? Or is it because I haven't played it for two hours? I don't know, because I'm pretty sure I haven't been recording for two hours. Uh, anyway, I'll be right back, I want to quickly have a small break and then we'll see if we can continue on and get some more gameplay and, and yeah. Okay, I'm back, uh, sorry about that, I had a small break and my brother's here, um, my younger brother, he moved out a while ago and he just came in today with his, uh, I think girlfriend, I'm not sure. To be honest, I haven't really talked to her much, <laughs> which is weird. Uh, anyway, um, we'll continue on. He's probably going to be, my brother's probably going to be staying over here for a few days or something, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so we're heading into the Labyrinth Gates. Scream Peak. Okay, let's see what we can do here. So this is the Labyrinth. If we defeat the boss here, we'll get a Sagan Crystal. That's not for certain. What I've been told, it's only that there's a chance of getting a Crystal in this Labyrinth. You won't know for certain until you defeat the boss. Really? It's because there's a need to keep things fair with those who don't have a familiar with them. I see. Ah, a hill. Do you like hills, Nabila? It's fun to do things on hills. <laughs> Yippee! Wait, wait! I feel like I've started to keep a pet. <laughs> At least call her younger sister. <laughs> By the way, Nabila, you're taking part in the selection battle, so does that mean you're aiming to become the overlord? That's right. When I become the Overlord, I'm gonna make a world where I can get so much money and use it all, too. It'll be so fun, no doubt about it. Pushing your own desires to the front? That's a wonderful objective. You have a familiar with yourself, so you want to become the Overlord too, right? If you're gonna become the Overlord, what sort of world are you gonna make? <clears throat> no, I'm not going to become the Overlord. Yep, she's not happy with that. Ah, uh, that pressure is really something. Oh, really? You don't want to become the Overlord? I don't have the right qualities. Huh? 
You're pretty interesting, so... Huh? I am? Yeah, you're interesting. She's a strange one. <laughs> that weak attitude will break pretty soon. You have a duty to make me the wife of the Overlord, after all. I'm not so sure about that. Anyway, let's cut the talking and start the conquest. Yeah! Okay, we're starting the conquest, hopefully. Uh... Oh, so there's a lot in this one. Interesting. Oh, and these are... what are these? Treasures. Each time change is used to move cell to the rear guard, restore cell's HP by 4. Uh, at the start of battle, applies 2 Fortnite to loser. And at the start of battle, applies 3 Swift Foot to Nabla. Huh. Okay, so we have like 3 starting treasures. Oh, and I'm back on level 1 now. Okay, uh, so, we're, events. <clears throat> well, it's, this is a, this is different from Beginner's Cave, there are so many squares. Indeed, normal labyrinths have multiple squares, just squares like this, and the root splits too. You can't move to a square that's not linked to the root, so look carefully at the squares you want to use and choose the route you need to take. Got it. By the way, what about the deck and treasure from the entrance? The deck is the internal card deck distributed to all participants who enter the labyrinth. The contents are the same as the beginner's cave. Okay. The treasure is the internal treasure. Choose to match the participants the effects are different from each individual too, also the effects vary from each labyrinth. The treasure I received looks like it raises attack at the beginning of battles. My treasure restores my HP when I move to the rear guard. Mine makes my speed faster. Maybe you should think about how you'll use this treasure and the deck as you move forward through the labyrinth. First head to the floor boss and at the end of this floor. Got it. If you defeat the floor boss, you can move on to the next floor at that time. Your HP will be restored by 25%. At that time, you... Wait, if you defeat the floor boss, you can move on to the... Oh, so there's more than one floor in this one. At the end, your HP will be restored by 25%. Even if your HP is low, don't give up. Defeat the boss. Got it. They have stats. Liz is internally high, HP is higher than Cell's, but her speed is a little lower. Nobula's internal speed is higher than other members, but her HP is low. Okay. Aim to conquer the labyrinth by making good use of Eliza's toughness and Nobula's speed. Gotcha. Event, something, and battle. <clears throat> well, we do need to level up, so I guess we need to actually go into battles. Let's head into the battle. Enemies always attack allies in Vanguard. If the HP of an ally in Vanguard is low, news change from the button in the top left of the screen. Okay, cool. Using change consumes one month mana. The ally in vanguard moves to the rear guard and other allies move the position forward. The HP of the ally move to the rear guard is restored by two. The amount by which HP is restored with the move to the rear guard decreases by one each time charge is used and returns to the next ally's turn. The rear guard's ally, ally's HP is restored by 2 when their turn comes. If HP gets low, move a character to the rear guard and restore HP. There are limited opportunities to restore HP in labyrinths, therefore, good use of the restore function in the rear guard is key to completing labyrinths. Okay, cool. Uh. 
Let's change, yep, yeah, okay, and it will take one, whatever. Okay, so everyone gets a turn, that's good. And it appears this one goes first, so... Power up. Uh, I'll attack with that. This, and light slash. And then we have to end. Uh, power up. Uh, first cut. This. And then this. Okay, that's one down. Uh, end turn. Mana. I'm thinking attack that one first. Because that one is going to move straight after our friend. If I'm reading this correctly. Let's use double spear. And. Use this. Double spear. First cut. And double spear. And, uh, okay, maybe I should move, try to restore health. And, attack. Oh, they have a shield, that's not good. Uh, nine, and nine. And, uh, Two sixes is twelve, so I guess these ones. And here we go. Okay. Did it. <clears throat> if you don't need any of the awards shown, use the button at the bottom left of the screen to swap the continents. This function can only be used once per floor. Ah, okay. If you want to save the swap function, or if there are no items you want, even after swapping, use next at the bottom right of the screen to skip award, and you get 20 coins. Okay. Um. Oh, this gives us one mana. If inflicts 10 damage if Swift Foot is applied to the news over stores. Oh, but that's if Swift Foot is used. I believe one of us has Swift Foot, but I don't know. If the card used next has Spear in the name, triggers the effect twice. Okay, we'll go with this one. Uh, use Formation button 1 to open the formation screen. If you want to change formations before battle, you can do so from here. Got it. Okay. I want to change, actually. So let's... Wait, how do we change people around? Uh, can we change formations? Uh, I don't think we can. I thought we could change things. I don't think we can. That sucks. Oh, wait, did I do something? No, I don't think I did. Hmm. Guess not. Okay, never mind. Um... Okay, we have to go to upgrade or... We can upgrade a card. What are we going to upgrade? I'm thinking... Uh... I'm thinking this one. <clears throat> so we can have more attacks. And we do more damage. Uh... Oh! So it says what the enemies are. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, let's do this one. Oh, she has a lot of health. Um, use this. Double spear. And then this should be used twice. No? Huh, weird. I don't think I understand. I thought I could use that twice for some reason. Uh, cut. Uh, no. Slash and slash and double spear. Spear of triggers spear if the card used next has spear in its name. Okay, so if I use this use this, and then use double spear? No? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I understand it. Um... Card from the discard pile and returns it to the top of the draw pile. Hmm... I don't know if I need that. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, uh, so we can do treasure or card shop. I'm thinking treasure, ooh. And there's like a strong enemy or is that a weak enemy? I don't know. Uh, can we like switch formations? I don't know, because I feel like I really should try to switch. Um, okay, we'll do treasure. Ooh. Damage sustained from enemies. Minus one on turns when gold is lost by a card effect. Attack card power two. Attack card power plus one. I'm thinking protection ring. So we can like, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we don't have a choice. We have to take on strong enemy. Shit. Okay, um... Oh, it's going to do 12 damage. Oh, and it's attacking every turn. That's not good. Uh, light Slash. And Light Slash. It's going to do 12 damage. Be careful of attacks on all allies. If there is an all icon above the enemy's head, that enemy's attack will be against all allies. Check. All allies, HP, etc., and take measures to deal with the attack. Ooh. Okay, so we're all gonna get attacked this turn. That's not good. Power up. Uh, if this, if the card used next has spear in its name. Okay, so if I attack with this, then I attack with double spear. Okay, got it. I wasn't sure if that was going to work. <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch her out, so change, and then I'll uh, first cut this. And then, double spear, we're all gonna get attacked this time. So this isn't good. Oh! Oh, I guess we didn't lose- I, I was- I was, like, totally prepared for, like, all of us losing HP. Sorry, wrong one. What, what did I do? Do I know sh sleep? I don't know what that means. Oh! Oh, I can't switch again. That sucks. Okay, power up. And power up. Uh, 14. Use this. First cart. Spear. And double spear. Okay, it's gonna do 12 damage to one of us. Okay, change. Power up. Uh, double spill. Power up again. One. 
And then this. Damn. I was hoping we would have killed it. <laughs> okay, and... Just one attack. Ta-da! Victory! Oh, we got two chests. Inflicts 25 damage. Remove. Is there a way to, like, check that stuff? So, I'm trying to check up... I'm guessing remove like I... Remove this? It costs two, though. Ooh. Full slash... Oh, this inflicts all enemies. Oh, but then it removes. I mean, I guess that could be helpful. And we get a treasure. All allies max HP... 3. At the start of a strong enemy or boss... Mr. Ooh. Or maybe that one. Okay, this one, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna rest. Yeah, we're gonna use rest area. And restore everyone's HP by 30%. Okay, so now we have to take on the boss. Okay, here goes nothing, so up to the boss. You who challenge yourselves, if you wish to go on, show me your unbending power. Gather two supporters who have given you their approval and try again. That's my father's voice. This is the examination that you were talking about. Is it Monty? It is. The transparent wall is here to block the path of those who are not qualified. But you have two supporters now, Cell, so... The wall collapsed. So now we can go on. Okay, let's deal with the monster. Okay, cool. Oh, we're all gonna take six damage. If I'm getting that right. Uh, let's see. What does remove mean? Does that mean, like, remove this for this battle, or...? I don't know. Uh, well, it does seem to do the most damage, so why not? Yeah, I think it just removed it. I should probably make sure. Can I check that stuff? Draw pile. Discard. Yeah, okay. Uh, double spear. Yep, we all took damage. Not good. Uh... Use this. Oh, he's gonna do six damage attack again. Um, spear of spear. Then this, and then this. Power up. Spear, and then this. Power up. This. Double spear and double spear. I can't do any more. Oh. Three times four? I'm guessing that's what that is. Uh, maybe it's a good time to switch out. Power up one more. Oh. I can't attack, though, this time. <clears throat> uh, okay, I wanted to see if I had any other spear attacks. Attack first. And another spear attack. Shit. Um, this. Take that. That, and that. If I'm lucky, we can end this. What does this do? Okay, we'll use that. This. And then double spear. There we go. Success! 
Uh, um, okay. Breakthrough inflicts 4 damage, high growth from card upgrading pickpocket. Steals a little gold. Okay, I might not get... Oh wait, we can swap. So let's swap. Sorry, I'm just saying, yeah, I think the screen's blocked. I'm guessing there's supposed to be like a circle on the next one, but at the top right corner? I can't see the top right corner. Uh... Should we swap? Uh, nah, I think we'll find we'll skip this one. Uh, if you complete a labyrinth carrying this treasure, bright stones plus 30. Okay. Restores HP amount up when resting here. Okay, let's get this one. Cool. Clear. And then we move on. So we're up to the next place. Uh, yeah, I think we should go up and then take the rest area. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. First cut. Uh, that, and then double spear. Oh, we're gonna do another one. That. Okay, I don't have. I was gonna use this, but I don't have another seal uh, spear. So that, and then this. And I'm gonna switch her out. I don't think that worked. Did it? Uh, this, and... First cut. Double spear will have to do. That. And two nines. Uh, that. Oh, I guess I could have just attacked. <laughs> okay, mission accomplished. Uh, speed up. Applies too swift foot to Nuzo. I'm thinking... Yeah, let's get to swift foot. I think that means we move faster, right? So, I'm gonna go to rest area this time. And we're going to restore health. Uh, one sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> so we're up against a strong enemy this time, and there's three of them. Holy crap, that's not good. Uh, this might be a good chance to switch my friend over, <laughs> actually. Uh, first part. Full slash. Oh! I should have probably held on to that, actually, now that I think about it. Oh well, too late. My plan was to hold off on that one and try to get us, like, all stronger and stuff. Pep up. Or power up. I don't know why I said pep up, actually. Uh... Speed up. Pep. Uh, and this one. Use that. That. Uh, we'll use this and then we'll use that. Okay, um... Power up. Power up. 
Yeah, I think I should switch. Okay, uh, double spear, uh, all double spears. Well, not all of them, but, yeah. Uh, wait, who am I playing as now? Oh, her. Go up. Take this. Power up, and two tents. Yay! Okay. We have one enemy left. Um, speed. Spear. And use spear again. Okay, uh, we can use this. Oh, two twenties actually. And we should be able to finish this off. Yay! Success! Victory! Okay, this isn't too hard. Um selects one card from the skull pile and adds it to the hand. Hmm. Uh no, I'll hold I'll like not. Okay, um, Soap. At the start of battle, restores Rear God's HP by 4. Okay, I'm gonna go with Healing Soft Soap. Okay, um, what do we have? Altar, Upgrader, or Advent? What's Altar? Oh, yeah, so we have SP. We have 3 SP. Fortnite applied to all allies. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Advent. Oh, it's a battle. Oh, shit. We got some strong ones. Okay, I'm gonna try and hold on to full slash until, like, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to destroy that first if it's possible. I'm going to try and hold on to that until I get some more power to use it, you know? See if I can do a lot of damage to a lot of them. Uh, speed up. Uh, first cut. This. And then this. Okay, my friend isn't doing so good. Power up, power up, and I think it's time to switch her out. <clears throat> uh, speed up, take that, and light slash, and then I'll switch her out. Up. Take that. Spear. And then two of these. Uh, power up. Speed up. And double spear. I think we're screwed if I don't do something. Eleven. Double spear. Yeah, I was kind of hoping double spear would work interestingly for me. Uh, I might have to switch out. Okay, that works. Um, power up. And take this. Okay. Uh, power up. Light slash. And double spear. 
Cool. Poisoned? Shit, we're poisoned. Take that. And double spear. And then that. Okay. Uh, not good. I don't know if I should switch out or not. Speed. And double spear. Power up. And 210. 220s, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I should probably switch her out. Speed. I almost second tapped that. Full slash. Oh, damn it. I was hoping to use double spear. I should have just used double spear. Uh, this one, first cut, double spear, and double spear. Yay! Uh, and we will take... Hmm. I won't actually take anything this time. Ah, strong enemy. I swear we were supposed to get stuff. Should I go to card store or boss or strong enemy? I'm thinking strong enemy. Okay, we did get our HP restored, so that's a plus. Um, power up. Uh, attack the spear and then use this. Oh, he's gonna do 14 damage. Oh shit, I'm gonna probably die. Uh, full slash. Uh, power up. That. And two of these. Oh, he's going to do 14 damage. What's this? Two? This can't be used because of the restraint ability. Hmm. Uh, power up. I'm a bit confused. Is my uh, attack power going down? Oh, it looks fine, I think. For speed up and light slash. Uh, I think it's time to switch out. Power up. Double spear, and I can't do another double spear. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, power up. Double spear, that, and then the cut. Okay, if I'm lucky, I can end this. Probably this turn. Next turn, uh, just to be safe. <laughs> we did it. Okay, uh, draws one more card if enemy is defeated. This is triggered one more time. I don't know, I feel like none of those cards are important. 
In each battle gains 2 mana when charge is used from the change button. When obtained gain 200 gold. Ooh. I'll just get this one, hopefully we'll be able to restore more health. Okay, we're gonna have to rest here. Uh, so we're going to restore health, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to fight the boss. Okay, we're back. Uh, so here's the boss. Here we are. Bloom and... Wait, no, that's not what the target's called, is it? Why did I read Bloom? I don't know why I had thought that. Okay, um... Power up. Five. Uh... Take that, and double spear, I feel like we should deal with this one first. Not good. Yeah, change. Power up. And slash. Gonna try and save that. Hopefully we get the chance to actually use it. Or maybe I should just use it now by the looks of it. Yeah, I'll just use it now. I don't want to miss my chance of using it completely. We don't have another spear, damn. I was hoping I can use two spears. Uh, power up. And two nines. Change, power up, and double spear. Uh, power up, take that, and double spear. Ah, okay, so if I kill the first one with the first two, it'll go into the other one. That's good. Oh, he's got five shield again. First cut, two nines, and a fourteen. Speed? I think that's what that is. Double spear. Take that, and this. Power up. Uh, that. That, and that. Not good. Switch, switch, switch. I think that works. So we all got... Oh, but now she's back there. Uh, can I... Guess not. Or oh, maybe we can. There we go. Success! Yay! Labyrinth cleared. And I guess that's everything. So those are all the cards we ended up with, and that's what we ended up with. Uh, interesting. Okay, uh, can we get out of this? Cool. Uh, we did it! We did it! Yay! Okay, there's no Sagon Crystal though. What a pity. There are still other labyrinths. I can take you to... Let's hop... Hope there's a crystal in the next one. Uh, hold on a sec. I think there's something going on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyway, I don't know if I read this. So I'll continue reading it. Uh, 
there are still other labyrinths I can take you to. Let's hope there's a crystal in the next one. So this is where we say goodbye to you, Naba. Ah, yeah, you're aiming to become the Overlord, so you can't stay with us forever, can you? That might be a problem. We can't stay. say that there won't be conditions like this next in time in the future, too. Ah, I know. Naba, when Sel becomes the Overlord, he'll give you authority over money in the hall of the Underworld. To give up trying to be the Overlord... So, give up trying to become the Overlord yourself and become a supporter? You're making decisions again. <laughs> okay. Really? <laughs> Think more carefully, Nubla. I don't know if I'll be able to give you that authority. Actually, the likelihood is basically zero. <laughs> hmm. You're interesting, Stull. Right now, I want to play with you more. <laughs> If it looks like you might not become the Overlord, we can think about things again then. Oh. That's everything decided. So let's go on and complete more labyrinths. We need to get back the time we lost. As far as I'm concerned, it'll be the help it'll be a help if someone else became the Overlord as soon as possible. Huh? I heard something stra some strange words just now. Would you say that again? Rather than me, someone else. One more time, please. Uh. <laughs> Whoa. I guess she really wants me to become Overlord. The unease that's taken root in the depths of your heart is still getting in the way of your... of you deciding to become the Overlord. <laughs> But even now, I remember the dream you told me about that time. That time. I'll even give my life if it'll make you recall how you felt back then. Ah. What's wrong? Oh. Morty, what's happened? Morty. Ah, my chest. Does your chest hurt? Are you okay? Morty, can you hear me? Morty. Ah, uh, Sal! Yeah, it's me. What happened? It's a sign of my extermination, probably. That is not good. What does that mean? The familiars were ordered to find suitable candidates to become the Overlord and to support them in the selection battle. But Morty ignored that and has stayed by my side. Even though familiars are exterminated, they fail to follow the orders of the Overlord, of my father. I see, so that's why you decided to take part in this se selection battle. That's right, Morty is my attendant, but he's also a dear friend. He's been by my side ever since I was born. I could never desert him. Sal, in that case, why don't you aim to be the Overlord? But you won't commit to anything. Morty is in a situation where he's suffering. I know that, but becoming the Overlord isn't the end of things. I'd have to shoulder the whole of the Underworld. I know myself more than anyone else that I don't have the courage or the qualities to be able to do that. And for that reason, I shouldn't aim to become the Overlord. So what are you saying? You don't even have one Sajin Crystal, but you shouldn't aim to become the Overlord? How presumptuous can you get? You can worry about that when you catch up with the others now. There are things you need to prioritize over that. Isn't that right, Sal? Hmm? Take part in the Overlord selection battle with everything you've got. If you really want to save your best friend, that is... If it's for that, I'll help you. Really? Okay, I'll get it. I'll give it my all. It's to help Morty, after all. That's good enough. Oh, Eliza, you're, sh you're such a... Elijah! And, yeah, he's back to normal. Un <laughs> underhand. I've told you before not to come near me, sprinkling that liquid around. Bleat. <laughs> such a funny face. 
I can't, I can't see anything. <laughs> but this isn't what I expected. You want to make me the overlord so much, but you're lending a hand to save Morty? Thanks, Elijah. You don't need to thank me. Starting now, I can change your way of thinking as much as I want. I'm going to educate you so well, so that you'll find that you have to become the overlord. Look forward to it. Ah, I see, that's what you meant. <laughs> okay then, in that case, we'll... We've developed the base at the same time as completing the labyrinths. If supporters who approve of cells start to assemble there, the base will naturally start to change into something more appropriate. First we need to get even a few more supporters. So the castle town is going to be best. If it's a large, if it's a town where there are large numbers of demons, there are sure to be some, oh sorry, some demons who will support you. So, even as you are now. Yeah, let's head to the castle, head to the castle town. A new chapter has been unlocked. Uh, congratulations on coming this far in Over Rogue. We would love for you to con to play to the end, but this is where the demo version of the game ends. Sol and Party are only just beginning their adventure, so if you have enjoyed the game so far, please purchase the full version. Okay, so I think we've finally finished the... I'm pretty sure we can't do this. Yes, okay. Uh, we can still do everything else, it appears. Huh. Anyway, uh, I guess we're done with this. Uh, oh yeah, I can move. I was wondering if I could move or not before. So we can. Cool, what's over here? Might as well have a quick look around. Treasure... Ah, oh, so it's like... Just treasure rooms? Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure if they all take me to the same place or not. <laughs> anyway, so I guess we're gonna end here for today. Can I, like, quit? Ah, oh, okay, that's... So I have to, like, not move to do that. I was trying to do that before. Are these rooms supposed to be the same? No, they look different. Okay, interesting. Uh, treasure museum. Ultra rare. We don't have any ultra rares, do we? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end for today. Um... Yeah, I did actually enjoy this game. I think I will purchase it eventually, but I don't know if I'll do a gameplay of this. I mean, I'm just not very good at constantly reading. I was kind of hoping there'd be, like, voice acting, but I was wrong. Uh, can we, like... Okay, that's story. How do I get back to... There we go. Um... Oh, no, we'll see. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you want me... Do you want to see me do a gameplay of this, or just play this in my spare time? If I get it, which I probably will. Um... Anyway, I've got to end now, definitely, because it's actually almost midnight. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like, dislike if you're not a huge fan. Feel free to leave a comment, tell me your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. Until then, stay awesome. Okay, bye-bye.